Hello everyone, welcome to the Heart Mind Festival. The topic today is about health. Health in the yoga, tai chi and oriental medicine perspective. We're going to talk about the past, the present, in the future. Let's focus on the past. The healthcare in India is being based on something that we call Ayurveda. But they take in consideration many things. The way we do practice, yoga means postures, the way we feel, the way we think, the way we eat. They had different levels of eating and behaving. And based on that, the teachers and the doctors, they conduct a medicine in that important part of the the planet. It's been going on for the past 5,000 years and is very active right now. In fact, it's more active since the, the, the liberation of India from the English domination. Now, China has a, a direct influence from India. As we know, Siddhartha Gautama moves from India to China. And the Chinese develop their own healthcare system. This healthcare is based on Tai Chi, acupuncture, herbs and energy feeling they call it qigong is by managing the energy they can very much cure many people before the chinese Re revolution they had a different system, health system. For example, they had doctors in charge of areas like colonies, like areas, streets, and so forth, so forth. And many families in that colony they receive payments based on the health of that area or the family, for each family. Now, when one member of the family was sick, the government stopped the payment to the doctor of that specific family. So they had to work real hard to get it back into their normal health. Right now it's different because they, the more you get sick, the better they will get paid. Now, um, going back to India, yoga is a very important part of the practice. Exercise, moving, Moving in life is so important. Moving in life is essential. Everything moves. Nothing is quiet, is calm. Nothing stops. Everything evolves. So the key is moving. And yoga is very aware of that. 
why is so popular yoga right now is because finally the medical doctors and the scientists are recognizing the importance of yoga. But yoga doesn't go only or doesn't focus only in yoga postures. It has many of the topics. In fact, there are eight altogether. And these topics are in the physical area, postures, but also how to resolve mental and emotional problems, how to work on connecting with your true self. And they have developed A limbs, A steps. And those steps are practice, has been practiced by the students around the world, especially in China, of course. In China, they have Tai Chi. It's another way of moving, and it's a very precise balance. It's essential in those practices. Physical balance, emotional balance, mental balance. And once we get the balance, once we are focused on the center, then we can do a lot of things. But we have to accomplish many things before we get there. So it's a very beautiful and very precise and solid path, both of them. Now, the health right now here in the West is different because in the Far East, these cultures, China and India, they work on energy. They strongly believe that everything is energy and the energy is manifested by positive and negative. Some of them they call it yin and yang, the Chinese, and Iran Pingala, and the India philosophy. So any imbalance of those two polarities create illness. Any stagnation in, in the channels of energy that are not only in the body, but also in the emotions and the mind, lead to illness. So the whole thing is around getting balanced. Like in nature, nature is always thriving for balance. And here in the West, we are more specialized in fixing the problem, directly with the problem, without, in many cases, taking consideration all the factors that are important, emotionally and mentally. So, here in the West, we have developed machines to specialize in those things. And we are very good at it. But they don't pay too much attention on balance or balance. They specialize also in quick fix. In the natural medicine of the East, they specialize in long term, safe and solid. Health. It's a worrisome that these days, the proliferation of urgent cares right here in the Midwest. We have urgent cares almost every five or ten blocks from each other apart. 
and hospitals are building more buildings and getting stronger and bigger. I thought in the beginning it was signs of progress. But then somebody told me, it's a sign of illness. We are getting sicker and sicker. So, natural healing, going back to nature, will be the future of the, the healing of the healthcare system. Prevention is the key. And the problems are already going on right now with so many illness. But if we take from early stages all the precautions and we do the right thing to keep the health of the person, the, the lifespan of people will be a longer and better and healthier because it's not about living a long life it's living a healthy life no matter how many years you live in this planet so these hospitals and these urgent cares would be centers for research and teaching people how to prevent diseases. Conclusion. Like the Chinese, the Hindus, and our Native Americans, we need to go back to nature. Nature is the key. Here in the West, we have many toys. Those toys are televisions, computers, phones, cars, you name it, many toys. And those toys, they're run by electricity and many other components that are artificial, of course. And those things we draw energy from the users. So we see a lot of problems right now in people. People that don't have too much energy. Therefore, they have to take pills to sleep because they are overwhelmed and they have problems with their energy level. The energy level is low, so they had to take coffee and they had to take Red Bull and many other beverages. So, here in the West, we have those places, we call it Kalpulis. It's exactly the same function like the ashrams in India. Those are communities where people live, learn, practice all the natives, cultures, and study for evolve to connect with the true self and reprogram ourselves so we can live a life with meaning, mindful life. 
I hope you all have a good life and in the future we are planning to continue with the studies and sharing with all of you many things that we have learned around the world that are very important for our lives and the life of others, the community, the countries, continents, the world. Thank you all for your time and happy holidays. Namaste. Pash in Lakesh. Lakin. I'm you and you are me.